Hello, Blake Rudis here with F64 Academy and F64 Elite. And today I wanna to talk to you about a really cool tool called the Perspective Crop Tool. I've been working on an interior architecture course and I found this tool to be really powerful to help me with my interior images. Here you can see in this photograph that the perspective in the center of the image is kind of skewed. After using this tool, really quick, really easy, I've got a really nice perspective on the center of the image where I want the viewer to look. It can be used as a very subtle tool or a very powerful tool as you're gonna see in this video. Okay, so in today's tutorial, I want to talk about the perspective crop tool. Now, the perspective crop tool more than likely is going to live over here in your crop tools. Now, you see the way I have mine set up. I have my crop tool on the top. I have the ruler in the middle and the perspective crop at the bottom. If at any time you want to edit your toolbar, just come right down here and we're going to go ahead and right click and say edit toolbar. And in my tools, you can see how I have my tools set up. If you don't have the perspective crop tool here, it might be over here in some of your excess tools. If that's the case, I would drag it and drop it and put it in your perspective crop. Okay, so why do we want to use the perspective crop over something like the regular crop? Well, the perspective crop is going to do something that allows us to outline the areas of perspective that aren't correct in our image. And it gives us a, a moldable kind of shiftable perspective based box. And as soon as we press enter and commit to that, it's going to go ahead and fix the warped perspective in our image and make it straight. So in this photograph, again, this is probably not going to be safe for work because we do have some nudity here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little box tool here and I'm just going to make a shape. It doesn't have to be a crazy shape. I'm just going to make a shape just for the sake of you able to see this. And I'm going to click right here and drag along right over to here and then down to here. And what you'll see when I do that, especially when I make that a little bit bigger, is that the perspective of this image is off because this top portion and this bottom portion do not line up. This top portion, this bottom portion do not line up. And this bottom portion's line right here, all the way over to here, perspective is off. Now it's these little things that when it comes to interior architecture that are really crucial and really important. I've done a whole course on interior architecture, which I'll talk about at the end of this. And this is one of the tools that I show how to use in there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and turn this eyeball off for a second on this rectangle. We don't need to see that anymore. I'm going to go to the perspective crop tool, and I like to really zoom in on this. I'm going to click this point right here, right along this wall, where that is. Move over all the way over here and click on this point right on top of that wall right there. Basically where these things connect. And you're saying, well, what about the rest of the image? Well, the rest of the image will come in a second. And then we'll click right on over to here. This is the area that I definitely want to fix because that's where the viewer is going to be focusing their attention, okay? So I've got this set right here. If I press enter right now and commit to this, or I press that little checkbox up there and commit to this, guess what's gonna happen? It's just gonna crop in and make that one portion of the back area of this gallery perfect. So what I need to do is use these lines that I've created here as the perspective that I want to warp in the entire image, but grab the top of this and just pull it up to the top of the image, grab the bottom and pull this down to the bottom of the image, and then grab it on the left and the right and pull it to the left and the right hand side. That is going to maintain all of the perspective corrections that I've done in that center area. You can see how off that perspective is now when we make it larger. And we'll go ahead and press enter. One thing I got to tell you though, is up here, you'll notice that you don't see anything that says, um, don't delete crop pixels or um, the other thing, which is uh, in the crop tool where it fills in with content aware. Those two check boxes are not gonna be up there. So once you commit to this, it will delete those pixels. Okay, that's definitely something you need to understand. We're gonna press enter. See what happens to our image after Photoshop thinks about it. After Photoshop thinks about it, it's gonna take all that perspective and fix it and correct it. Now. I know the top of the image looks all funky now because it warped out towards us and that's okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our box tool here, a little rectangular box tool and move this around the image and look at that. That's the important part. That part is now a box. So now I have the opportunity to come into my regular crop tool and just crop this back down to size to a size that I would want it to be for the image that I'm using. Maybe that would be a more suitable crop. 
But the point is here, and what this is doing, is this is allowing us to get a really nice perspective in our image and fix those things that are just all kinds of uh, messed up when we use wide angle lenses in interiors. So here's the before, here's the after. Here's the before, here's the after. One thing that we know when we use these wide angle lenses is that we're going to lose stuff when we crop like this. But now I've got that huge wide open range with this, maybe I think this was a 10 millimeter lens that just give me everything in that room. And then I can crop it down after I get that perspective perfect and still come out with a more technically perfect image than I would if I went with a uh, maybe um, something that wasn't quite as wide. Now, Couple things I do need to tell you about this is if we open up something like this image right here, and we try to do this on this photo. Okay, let's say we just we get a perspective crop tool and we click right here. We're like, well, if I made that perfect, guess I can do that to this too. We'll go to here, we'll go to here, at the top there, and we'll go down to here. If I press enter to this, watch what's gonna happen. It's not going to look good. What it's going to do is it's going to really warp that image in order to get that center focus point to be perfect. Now, if this was the, the area that you wanted that perspective to be perfect in, because that's what we corrected for, I would also recommend coming in here and using the crop tool and cropping the rest of that out that you don't want just so you get that perfect. Okay, get that one spot that you want perfect perfect. This is going to um, manipulate pixels. So you might increase noise when you do this, especially in some of these darker areas, because it is taking those pixels and it's warping them and throwing them in, in many different directions in order for you to get that perspective correct. Now, there's many tools that you can use for your perspective corrections. I think this one is a really cool tool. The main things that I need you to take away from this, though, is click a point on the areas that you want it to maintain that perspective from. This image right here was really easy for us to find that because of that central focal point that we wanted the viewer to put their eye on. We get the perspective right for that one spot and then we move it out to the size of our canvas. Don't try to do it from the outside of your canvas without finding a point in between. Now this is a tool that I talk about in the Interior Architecture Essentials course that I've created for F64 Elite members. It is a free course for F64 Elite members to stream right there on the website or it is available for purchase if you do not want to take part in a subscription service. It's 11 total videos, about two hours in length, about all kinds of things with interior architecture from cloning people out to fixing white balances to correcting perspective just like you see here in this image. So I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this. My name is Blake Rudis with F64 Academy and F64 Elite. If you like this, please comment on it, share a friend, and just, you know, spread the love, leave a comment or something. I'd love to hear what you think about this tool. Thank you very much for watching.